Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey, Daisy, what you doing? Well, I'm coming up with a shopping list for Mom. Why are you doing that? Because I don't think she feels good still. Wait, she still doesn't feel good? She's been sick for like 24 hours. She should be better by now. Speaking of, Molly, why don't you take her a bottle of water? That's a great idea. You can finish up the shopping list. Yeah, we're all out of avocados. Ew, avocados! Since you're making the grocery list, why don't you put things like, um, waffles and ice cream, cupcakes! Oh boy, Molly, you'll never get anything healthy. Okay, instead of water, I'm going to take Mom some Gatorade, because I think she might actually really need that. Because when you're sick, you just need electrolytes and stuff. Don't wake her up if she's sleeping, Molly. You're so bossy, Daisy. Bossy, bossy, bossy. They should call her Daisy Bossy. That should be her middle name. Mom? Oh, Molly. Mom, are you still sick? Yeah. Mom, I brought you a Gatorade. No, I can't drink or eat anything. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Mom, I'm starting to get really worried about you. You haven't eaten or drank anything in 24 hours. That's a long time to go without food and water. I know. I don't know what to do. Your dad's away on a business trip and I just still feel so sick right now. Ugh, just go downstairs, Molly. I need more rest. Okay, Mom. I'll check on you in a few minutes. Oh my gosh. My mom is still sick. Daisy! 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 Molly, hold on. Okay, we always get the green apples and the red ones. What is it, Molly? Mom, she's she's not any better. Did she drink anything? Like any water or anything? No, she didn't. Oh my gosh, Molly. This isn't good. I know. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know either. Um, Maybe we should give her a few more minutes. She just might me need more rest. Okay, well, let's um watch some TV. Sounds good, Molly. It's pretty cold outside today. I'm not sure I want to go out there. Plus, if Mom needs us, we'll be right here. OMG! <laughs> Look at the frog taking the picture of the dog. That's funny. Um, ooh, Brooke, hi. I've already seen this episode, but it's a good one. Molly, stop munching so loud. I can't even hear the TV. Sorry. I can't help it, but this burrito is so good. Mmm. So delicious. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. Molly! Okay, I'll just turn up the television. Good idea, cuz uh I'm not gonna stop eating this burrito. Ugh, I'm so full of burrito. So full of burrito. Molly, I think we should go check on mom now. Okay, just just roll me off the couch. Ugh. You shouldn't eat so much, you pig! <laughs> Mom? Mom? How are you feeling, Mom? Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh my gosh, Molly, she's not any better. Maybe she just has to fart. That makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> Molly! Oh my gosh, maybe I should listen to her stomach. Daisy, you're not a doctor. Girls, just leave me alone. I have to go back to sleep. My stomach hurts so bad. Daisy, can I see you out in the hallway for a minute? Sure, Molly, what is it? I don't I don't like the look of this. Like, Mom's not getting any better. I think we should call the hospital. That's a good idea, Molly. Let's do it. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, um, my name is Molly and my mom is sick. Okay, where do you live, Molly? I live at 123 Brookhaven Lane. Seriously, that's your address? Yes, I know! It's crazy, right? <laughs> Easy to remember when I was in kindergarten. Molly, get to the point. How is your mom sick, dear? Um, she's had this pain in her stomach for 24 hours. Has she eaten or drank anything? 
No, she hasn't. She just said she can't eat anything. Her stomach hurts and she can't get out of bed. And my dad's on a work trip and it's just me and my sister and we don't know what to do. It sounds like your mom is very sick. I'm going to send an ambulance to your address right away. Um, just hold tight. They'll be there soon. Thank you. Molly, what did they say? They said mom sounds like she's really sick. They're sending an ambulance to take her to the hospital. Oh no, mom. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna tell mom. Mom? Yeah. Mom, I called 911. Why? 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 Because mom, let's face it. You're really sick. Dad's away on a business trip, and I don't know. I just think you need to get checked out by a doctor. An ambulance is coming. Oh, I think you might be right, Molly. I'm going to call your grandma. She can come stay with you while I go to the hospital. If she's not too busy. Okay, Mom. She said that Grandma's going to come stay with us if she can. I'm worried about Mom, Molly. I'm worried. It's going to be okay, Deezy. It's going to be okay. Oh my gosh, I hope my mom's gonna be okay. Good luck, mom! Oh, hi, Molly. Grandma, hi! I've had a really stressful day, grandma. Everything's gonna be okay. Grandma's here now, and so is Kitty McKiddums. Come on, let's go inside, Molly. Grandma, <laughs> I, I'm just, don't worry about a thing, Molly. I could make you some cookies. Now, where is Daisy? I'm right here, Grandma! Oh, would you girls like some cookies? I could bake you some. Actually, Grandma, um, can you take us to the park? I have a little bit of cabin fever. Sure, I'd love to take you girls to the park. What do you think, Kitty McKittums? Meow, meow, meow. Kitty McKittums loves that idea. Let's go. Wow, it actually turned out to be a pretty nice day. Yeah, it's really warm out. Come on, Daisy, let's swing on the swings. Whee! Whoa, this is so much fun. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm getting dizzy. Whoa, 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 whee! Oh my gosh, Grandma, did you see that? I almost landed in the fountain. Oh, it's a little too cold to go swimming. <laughs> hey, Grandma, does kitty kittens like swimming? Oh, most cats hate water, Molly. They really hate it. <laughs> Kitty Kittums, you want to go in the fountain? Uh, I'm going to take that as a no. <laughs> Marley, come on. Um, Let's go um down the water slide. Oh, girls, you're not afraid you'll be a little cold. Never, Grandma. Never. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Grandma lets us do so many fun things. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Grandma was right. <laughs> it is too cold to go swimming. Holy guacamole. Daisy, I'm going up the diving board. Whoa, I kind of fell off it. Go for it, Daisy. Oh my gosh, Daisy's going so high in the air, I don't even see her. Da Daisy? Did you guys see her go in the pool? I didn't see her go in the pool. Daisy? Is Daisy up on the tree? Do I have to call the fire department? Molly, <laughs> it shot me all the way over to Starbucks. Holy guacamole. Try again, Daisy. Oh, she's going all the way up into the tree. Oh, she laid into the pool. Molly, why didn't you warn me? It's freezing in here. Huh, I just thought about something. What, your stomach? No, coming to the park is fun, but... <sighs> Mom's at the hospital and I'm worried about her. You're right, Molly. Wait a minute. Is Grandma just trying to distract us from what's going on with Mom? Did she? Did she die? What? Daisy! How could you say that? I'm just wondering, Molly. Oh, my gosh. Grandma! Grandma! Oh, Kitty McKittums. They're back. Grandma. <laughs> I'm worried. Oh, Molly. Why the sad face? Because we know you're just trying to distract us from what's going on with Mom. Well, um, uh, you're right. I didn't want you girls to worry too much over something you could do nothing about. The doctors and nurses know how to best take care of your mom. 
I'm just worried that we're gonna lose her. She's my mom. I love her. I don't want to lose her. <laughs> oh, girls, at this point, I think the best thing to do would be to head over to the hospital and, and check on how your mom's doing. I think you're right, Grandma. We deserve to know the truth. Yeah, Grandma. Okay, let's walk over to the hospital then. I hope my mom is okay. I really hope my mom is okay. Actually, we can take my car if you want. It's from 1972. It's a classic. Classically ugly. Hey, don't talk about Betsy that way. You named your car, Grandma? I sure did. She is one sweet ride. Wow, wow. See, even Kitty McAdams thinks so. Grandma, we just had to walk down the block. I have bad hips. I can't walk very far. She must be in one of these rooms, Daisy. Where's the doctor? I don't know. Maybe he's out to lunch or something or dinner. I don't know. Oh my god. Every single room on this floor is empty. I know Grandma said this is the floor she's on. <gasps> Marty! You don't think that our mom died, do you? Oh my gosh. I hope not. Mom! Cat, where did you come from and why are you sitting on my shoulder? Oh, Ow. anybody lose a cat? Anyone lose a cat? Oh, hello there. How can I help you? And do you know whose cat this is? Uh, yeah, I think it's my grandma's. Kitty McKinnum, get off the doctor's shoulder. Well, what can I do for you girls? We're here to see our mom, unless of course she died because she's not in any of these rooms. What is your mom's name? It's Lava. Oh, Laura. Yes, she's in surgery. What? Surgery? Why? Oh, <laughs> no big deal. She's almost done. And I promise when she is, she will feel much, much better. What happened to her? She had this annoying thing in her body called an appendix. Wait, an appendix? That's a part of your body you need, right? Not really. A lot of times I just do surgery on people because the annoying appendix decides to burst or, I don't know, just cause people trouble. Why are we even born with those anyway? I don't know. You're the doctor. Why don't you tell us? Anyway, your mom's appendix burst. Holy guacamole. That's why she had such a bad stomach ache. And now she'll need to eat tons of ice cream to recover. Oh, wow. Can I have my appendix out? I want to eat tons of ice cream. I'm afraid not, Molly, unless, of course, your appendix decides to be annoying. Anyway, um, she should be wheeled out into her room any minute, and you guys can see her if you're nice and quiet. And you don't steal her ice cream, Molly. Yeah, no stealing her ice cream. Now I've got to go find the owner of this cat. Excuse me. <coughs> Daisy, did you hear that? Mom's going to be okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm so relieved. Molly, I think they're wheeling out Mom's stretcher now. It is, Mom. Come on, let's go see her. Mom? Mom? Oh, hey, girls. Mom, why are you talking like that? I just got off of anesthesia. I feel funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's not quite awake from her anesthesia from her surgery. Whee! I'm floating in the clouds. It feels nice. <laughs> Mom, you're being silly. Mom, guess what the doctor said? That I'm going to be an angel and fly through the clouds. Or a unicorn. Or maybe a flying hippopotamus. <laughs> Mom, you're saying weird stuff right now. No, she said you can eat lots of ice cream. And you should, because it'll be gentle on your tummy. Are you... Are you being serious right now, Molly? She can eat as much ice cream as she wants? Yeah, you heard the doctor, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I can't believe it. She's lucky. Totally. Ice cream, you say? Can I eat it while I'm floating up in the clouds? Sure, Mom. Anything you want. We're just glad you're A-OK. -okay. What is going on? What's gotten into you? I have a question. Mom, 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 mom. Okay, what is it, Molly? Um, can I have some ice cream? <laughs> Molly, no, you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry. Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. 
No, I can't. I'm starving. Mom, help. Can't wait any longer. Send ice cream. Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do a CPR. Dad, no, no. You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad, um, I can't do my homework. What? Why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so guess I don't have to do it tonight. Molly, pff, whatever. You still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just going to skip it. Molly, no, you're not. The answer is no. Go do your homework. Ugh, the answer is always no, it seems. Ay, ay, ay. Something's wrong with the computer. Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that funny dog. It's smiling. <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready. Huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation. Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables? No way. I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Molly, you're still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, oh, 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 that, that's, that's not fair. Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom! 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 Yes, girls? Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, Mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no. It's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? Oh! M.G. Our parents say no to everything. Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests. Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute! I didn't know I was a part of this decision! What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault! Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything! Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy... Exactly! Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whoa, Molly, you kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow, um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? Oh, I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. Um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh. All right. Yes, you can stay home. Ha <laughs> ha! Skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, 
<laughs> Everything is a yes. Good morning, parents! Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. Just a little bit of waffle. Mm hmm. So delicious. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Bloxier. Delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like, what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we um, borrow your car? What? No way. Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh, all right. But be careful, okay? We will. Come on, Daisy. Ha, ha, ha. I'm gonna ride in mom's car. I'm gonna ride in mom's car. It's gonna be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not dad's though, it's mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven it all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got to go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. A piggy is after me. A P I G G Y. Okay, you won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa! 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 Oh my god, Daisy, I just put mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly, get out, get out. Daisy, I can't. My door is stuck. Ah! Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight. I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out, Daisy, you did it. Oh my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like... Tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the, po the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Mom, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pond! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Mom, 
You're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, this should be fine. Let's go home. Molly, I'm a little nervous. She's going to freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh, boy. This might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, Mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes, remember, because it's yes day? Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Uh, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, Where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh, my gosh, you drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom, it's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the pool. Wait, you really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a $1,000? What? She's gone insane, Daisy! Well, in her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you gonna do with that much money anyway? Um Duh! I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world. What? Seriously? <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna step over you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're gonna go to the ice cream shop. Whoa. <laughs> There's Mom's Jeep. Oh, well. It was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Molly, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um, Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah. Good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Molly. Maybe they want their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Molly? Yep, pretty much. You start with some bubble gum. Mmm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Molly, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Molly, did you eat $1,000 worth yet? Not even close. Why did we eat all that ice cream? Ugh. I know. I'm definitely going to throw up. Definitely. Uh, I've got to go to the bathroom. Where's our bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No. Ugh. Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy. Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. We ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Ever! Molly, I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, uh, me too. Uh, so much ice cream. Molly, get off of me. Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could bleh. Ew, Molly, gross. 
I don't want any more yes days. Never again! I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm gonna have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Molly. This is just crazy! Why is this math homework so hard? Well, Molly, maybe it's so hard because you're busy kind of watching Brooke High instead of paying attention. Yeah, Molly, you can't watch TV and study at the same time. Um, yes I can. It's called multitasking. Yeah, and you're going to do two things terribly. Ay, ay, ay. Just pay attention, Molly. Seriously, turn off the TV. Oh, this homework really is so hard. I have to admit, it is pretty challenging, Daisy. Why you guys say it's so hard? It's not so hard being a big kid. What? Yes, it is. What do you know about it? You're just a baby. But I think being a big kid is super easy. Yep, yep, yep. Well, baby Kira, we think being, being a baby is pretty easy. Yeah, what's so hard about being a baby? Obviously, learning how to eat. Learning how to not drool, learning how to crawl, learning how to walk, learning how to poo poo on the party is very challenging. <laughs> All of that stuff is baby stuff. That's not even difficult. Try doing this math homework. You just forget what it's like to be a baby. It's harder than it looks. I dare you and all of Brookhaven to be babies for 24 hours. Then maybe you'll remember. 24 hours? Easy peasy. It's going to be the easiest 24 hours of my life. I take the dare. Yeah, I think I'll take the dare too. It's been a long time since I've been a baby. Well, not that long. You were just crying over your spilled makeup yesterday. That was pretty babyish. Molly, stop teasing me. It's annoying, okay? <laughs> ah, I'm just being a good sister and driving you crazy. I think that it's time for you all to be babies. <coughs> no, Molly, not that real. You're a newborn. You have to be about a year older. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Is this better? Yeah, you are a little baby like me. And now you have to live your life for the next 24 hours in my world. Good luck. Hmm, I'm kind of hungry. Let me go see what's in the refrigerator. You're not allowed to eat anything out of the fridge the way your mom said. Okay, Daisy. Okay, Brookie. Come on, we have to go to the diner. I'm hungry. Also, you're a big cry baby. Take that back. You're going to get a time out. No way. You can't give me a time out. You're not my mommy. Is it just me or is this table like really tall? I can't even see over the top of it. How am I going to eat my food? Well, Molly, that's because we're a lot smaller because we're babies. So we can't see over the table anymore. Well, they should make baby tables at the diner. That's just rude that they don't have baby tables. They do, Molly. It's called a high chill. Duh. Whatever, Daisy. You're so rude. You think you're so smart. Oh, well, you're just a baby like the rest of us. What? Why is a baby waiting on us? Because, Molly, remember, everybody in Brookhaven is a baby for 24 hours. Holy guacamole. Well, I guess she's our waitress. Hi, I'll be taking your order today. Sorry, I'm still working on my speech and everything, but what can I get for you? I'll have a Happy Meal. Sorry, this isn't McDonald's, duh. But I wanted a Happy Meal. <coughs> Molly, stop being such a baby. She can't help it. She actually is a baby. Um, we could get you a kid's meal, though, if you want or something. Yeah, I guess a kid's meal will be good. Yeah, I'll have a kid's meal, too. Three kid's meals, please. Hey, wait, aren't you going to write down what we want? No, I'll have right. I'm just a baby. <laughs> I got to remember it. Well, we did only order three kid's meals. Yeah, but we still need drinks. I want... Hey, wait, I'm not done ordering. My, don't be rude. Couldn't get us kicked out. Okay, well, I wanted something to drink. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. Being a baby is making me kind of cranky. Oh, no. She pooped her pants, didn't you, Molly? No, but Daisy, I can't even see your face. You stand up. You're so short. 
Don't tease me, okay? I'm not. I just, I can't even talk to you because you're so short. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm standing on the table. Coming over there to sit next to you guys. No, you can't sit here. You're too big. What? No, I want to sit with you guys. What's taking our food so long? Hey, what are you doing up there? Oh, sorry. I forgot to put in your order because I got busy watching Coco Melon. You ever see this Halloween special? Hey, it's not even Halloween. Oh, my gosh. This baby waitress is annoying. Where are all the grown-ups? There weren't any, Molly. We're all babies. Oh, my stomach's really starting to growl. I'm going to start getting hangry. Ah. Here you go. Order's up. What? A bottle? Wait, why are we getting... Oh, fine. I guess I'll just drink this bottle. Sorry, the cook is a baby and he doesn't know how to make the kids' meals. It's all right. I'm a baby, so I like baby bottles. Blech. Gross. Yeah, Molly, you see, excuse me. Nah, I'm a baby. I don't have to. That bottle was good, but I'm still hungry. Well, we could go to the grocery store and we could get um some food there. Oh, that's exactly what a parent would do. All right, let's go. We can get some, we can get some, um, we can get some candy. We can get some popcorn. That doesn't sound very healthy, Molly. Of course it doesn't. We're babies. We want to eat anything we want. And a cheeseburger, and Molly, the grocery store doesn't have a made cheeseburger. Okay, well, they might. They might. I want to get in the car, Molly. Me too. I want to ride in the car too. Na, 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 na. Um, apparently we can't ride in the car because, hey, I wanted to ride in the car. Oh, you're too fat. I can't push you. I am fat. I'm just tiny baby, and you are too, and that's why you can't push me because you're not strong enough. Okay, fine, whatever. Just get out of the cart so I can put Doritos in there. Okay, I'll put Doritos in the cart. Okay, is, it's not letting me put Doritos in the cart. All right, I'll just, I'll put them in my hands. That, that'll, that'll work. Okay, I got some Doritos. You guys get, you guys get some soda and Daisy, you, you get, um, you get a candy bar. Boy, she's a boss, baby, if I ever saw one. Come on, guys, I'm hungry. I want to check out. Wait, there's, there's no cashier. Yeah, there's a cashier. I'm just down here. What? A baby cashier? And it's a boy. What? It's a boy? <laughs> it's a boy. Um, you, you have to have money to buy that. Money? Is that how our parents get all this cool stuff? Glug, 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 glug. I don't know. I'm just drinking this Coca-Cola. I didn't know I had to pay for it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna call the police. You're gonna end up in jail. Okay, here you go. Here's your Doritos back. It's okay, we'll go get some money. We just gotta go to the bank. All right, let's go to the bank, guys. Guys, come on. Daisy, don't steal the candy bar. What are you doing? I'll pay for it when we get back. No, leave it here. We're gonna get arrested. And then we'll be in baby jail. I've heard horrible stories about baby jail. They don't even come in to change our diaper. Um, guys, what are we waiting for? We're not allowed to cross the street without a grown-up to hold our hands. Yeah, everybody knows that. That is so wrong when you're a baby to cross the street without your parents. You could get hit by a car. I don't see a car anywhere, guys. Well, we still can't cross the street without a grown-up. Then we're just going to be standing here forever. I nominate Molly to be the grown-up. Okay, Molly, you look both ways. No cars. Okay, we can go. Excuse me, cash machine. I would like to get some cash. Uh, Molly, I don't think that's how it works. I think you have to have, like, this card thing. Card thing? Well, I don't have one of those. I thought it was just, like, it could just, like, hear what we wanted and give us money. Molly, did you ever really pay attention when Mom came to the ATM? Well, not really, but where are we going to get one of these cards? We're not, Molly. Just face it. We're terrible as babies. Oh, baby Kira was right. Being a baby is harder than I thought. And squishier. What do you mean, squishier, Molly? What do you mean by that? Yeah, Molly, did you step in some slime or bubble gum on the way over here? No! I made a doo-doo in my diaper and it's super squishy! Ew, gross, Molly! Is that what that smell is? It smells like cow poo! Ew, Molly! Somebody changed my diaper! Not me, I'm mad of you. Me too, gross. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, I thought you were my best friend. Well, you're my sister. You're going to help.
help me, right? Absolutely not! Goodbye, squishy butt! <laughs>
I'm right here, Bookie, I'm right here. Oh no, I can walk through Brookie too. Wait, there's Sarah. Na 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 na, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> I farted right next to you, Sarah. Ugh, something really smells. What is that? I think the school has a sewer leak. <laughs> she thinks it's a sewer leak. <laughs> no, 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 it's just me. Ugh, this school is so gross. No one can see me. I'm invisible. Wait a minute, why am I invisible? Where do you think Molly is? I don't know. We got this beach house for free. She's probably chilling by the pool. Wait a minute, you want a free beach house? I want a free beach house. You did? Holy guacamole. Yeah, mine's over at um, Takawana Beach. Where's yours at? Oh, I'm over at Brookhaven Beach. Oh, wow. I can't believe we both won new beach houses. Me either. Um, did you sign the paperwork that says, you know, like, you give up your old house or whatever? Yeah, my old house wasn't nearly as nice as the one I got. Oh, well, that's cool. Maybe we can visit each other's beach houses. Sounds good. Come on, let's go to class. Oh, wait, I still have to get my books. I'll meet you in there, Daisy. You know, since I'm invisible... I won't be getting credit for coming to this class, which probably means I don't even need to be here right now. Oh, I better not be late. Oh, Molly, there you are. What? Brookie, you can see me? Yeah, of course I can. Why couldn't I? Um, because, um, I'm invisible? No, you're not. I wonder where Brookie is. She's going to be late for math class. Uh-oh, Brookie. I hate to break this to you, but now you're also invisible. Wait. What? Nope, they can't see you, not even a little bit. How come we can see each other then? Because we're both invisible. Ugh, something is really stinking again. Ew, Molly. <laughs> I ate some beans the other day and I've just been like farting all morning and Sarah thinks it's the sewer backing up. <laughs> oh, Molly, you're such a prankster. What are we gonna do about being invisible? Celebrate! That means no more homework, no more teachers. All day we can eat pizza. Molly, I don't think this is such a good thing. I mean, my parents will miss me and, and... Wait a minute. What would make us both invisible? What did we do that the other kids didn't do? Ugh, I can't believe those two losers got a free beach house and I didn't. Wait, you got a free beach house? So didn't I. Oh my gosh, I knew the beach house was too good to be true. That guy was obviously a demon. Um, Molly, I don't think this is so good. Well, let me pull out the contract and see what it says. Molly, did you read the contract before you signed it? Uh, uh no. Me either. I was too excited about the beach house. Me too. Um, I, Molly Acker, give my soul to the demon? Oh my gosh! The demon! He 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 took our human soul! I mean her uh, uh, our human soul or whatever, I don't know what it's called, but he took it! What? No, we have to get it back! Yeah, or we could be invisible. Forever! Let's go find him! Let's go find him! Um, do you think Sarah will mind if we borrow her car? Um, wait, I'm invisible. Can I sit in it? <laughs> sure can! Come on, invisible best friend! Time to go get our souls back. Molly, can we listen to some good music? Sure, why not? Molly, you just ran that red light. Who cares? We're invisible. Now let's go over to get some um, takeout first. Molly, we don't need takeout. We need to get our we need to get our souls back so we're not invisible anymore. Okay, yeah. Um, let's go over towards the beach. Maybe he'll be over there trying to give other people free beach houses. What a little trickster. Look, Molly, it's the demon in his real form. Ha, 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 ha. Thanks for the free souls. How are you liking your new house? <laughs> well, the house is great, but um, being invisible, not so much. We want our souls back right now. Ha, 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 ha. I don't think so. Okay, well, have it your way. For real, Molly, you're just giving up? Giving up? I don't think so. Who are you calling? You'll see. Hello, this is Laura. How can I help you? Mom, sorry to bother you at work, but um, I accidentally signed her house away. What? Yeah, and um, 
Now I'm invisible because I sided over to a demon. He gave me a beach house, though. What? What do you mean you're invisible? Are you okay? Brookie did it, too. And um, this demon wants to steal our souls forever. Oh, really? You put me on speakerphone right now, Molly. Okay, here you, here you go, Mom. Listen here, Mr. Demon. You gave my daughter and her best friend her their souls back, or you're going to sit in time out for the rest of eternity. Do you hear me, mister? Whoa, your mom means business. Yeah, don't cross her. Seriously, she can be pretty fierce. Okay, I'll give them their souls back. And I think this is very bad, bad, bad behavior. You should really think about what you do before you do it next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Love you. Molly, I'll talk to you about this when I get home. And take the chicken out. I want to make it for dinner. Okay, Mom. Bye. Well, I guess I got to give your souls back. Ugh. Here you go. Hooray! We're cured! Now, I get my beach house back. Uh, no. We're keeping that. Yeah, the beach house is amazing. No, that's not part of the deal. You get your old crummy houses back, and that's all there is to it. Oh, man. In this Brookhaven mini-movie, Molly and Daisy have to have a babysitter, and it's super old and boring grandma. But when Molly creates a potion to make them grow up so they don't need a babysitter anymore, it backfires and turns old grandma back into a baby. Then baby grandma runs away. Can they change grandma back before their mom gets home or will they be grounded forever? Watch to the end of this video to find out what happens. And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment below. Mmm, this donut is delicious. Molly, is that all you do is just sit on the couch and eat at donuts all day long? I mean, it's Saturday. Don't you want to do something? Yeah, like you? Homework. Actually, I'm not. I'm doing homework right now. I'm watching these adorable panda videos. Yeah, well, I'm watching Brooke High, and I have to see what happens to Megan in this episode. Mm. I also have to eat more of this blueberry donut. Girls, girls. <laughs> Hi, girls. Um, I've got to do some work today. What? It's Saturday, Mom. Don't be ridiculous. No, I have to go to the office. It's called adulting. Whoa, adulting stinks. I hope I never turn into adult. Trust me, Molly. <laughs> Being a kid is way more fun. <laughs> but I really do need to go to the office. Okay, well, see you later. I'm just going to keep eating donuts. Mmm, mm, delicious. You know, Molly, eating an apple once in a while wouldn't hurt you. Actually, it'd be really good for you. Yeah, Molly. You just eat a donut diet all the time. I don't just eat donuts. Sometimes I eat cupcakes. And sometimes I eat Reese cups. Oh, Molly. <sighs> Your diet is terrible. We're going to have to work on that. Okay, Mom, sure, but not on a Saturday. Okay, well, we'll see you later, Mom. Oh, no, 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 no. You girls aren't staying home alone. Well, we can't go to the office with you. No, you're going to have a babysitter. Ah, oh, babysitter, Mom, come on. No one wants a babysitter at our age. I know, Molly, but just for now, I think maybe another year with a babysitter. Another year? Oh, we're almost practically grown up. Didn't you just say that you're not an adult yet? Okay, yeah, but I'm old enough to not have a babysitter. I think a babysitter would be fun. Of course you would, Daisy. Such a goody two-shoes. Well, I don't think having a babysitter will be bad. When you find out who it is, you'll be super excited. It's Grandma. Oh, Grandma. You mean your mom, right? No, I mean Dad's mom. Oh, no. What? Your Dad's mom is really nice. I know she's nice, but she's so old. She's like the Crib Keeper. Molly, don't be rude. I think I hear her now. Hello, is anybody home? Oh, these hips don't work like they used to. Why you gotta have so many stairs out front? She complains a lot, Mom. Oh, there you all are. Oh, Grandma, I, I didn't know your hips were so bad you're in a wheelchair now. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a slow wearing out process to be old. Hi, Grandma. It's nice to see you. 
Good job, Molly. I'm so glad you're being polite. Grandma, I love your hair. You look like a glamour to me. Get it? Glamour? Oh, Daisy, you're so kind. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Grandma, call me if you have any problems, okay? Oh, we won't have any problems, will we, girls? No, because we'll probably be so bored. Oh, nonsense. We could play a nice game of, well, Parcheesi or something. Parcheesi? What's that? Ooh, I love Parcheesi. That's when they put Parmesan and regular cheese on the top of your, your pizza. It's so good. I don't think that's what she meant, Molly. Oh, <laughs> no, Molly. Parcheesi is a game. Oh, I thought you were talking about delicious pizza. No, no, no. I can't eat pizza anymore. I'm allergic to dairy. Oh, wow. That's horrible. Getting gold is terrible. Tell me about it. Now, how about we watch one of my shows on TV? Um, ow, oh, Grandma, you ran over my foot with your wheelchair. What's this garbage? Brooke, hi, turn this right away. Oh, breaking news. Oh, the news. Grandma, that's all you ever want to watch. The news is very informative. Oh, Daisy, can I see you in the kitchen for a minute? Molly, what is it? Uh, Daisy, I have an idea. Is it to eat all the Reese's Cups again? Because, Molly, ugh, you already did that. <laughs> no. Looking up a spell. A spell? What are you talking about? Girls, are you staying out of trouble in there? Of course we are, Grandma. <laughs> we wouldn't be getting into trouble, would we, Daisy? Uh, but no. Okay, well, could one of you bring me <coughs> a glass of water? <coughs> I choked on my dentures. Ew, gross, Grandma! I'm not taking a glass of water, that's gross. Well, one of us needs to. She choked on her dentures. Ew, Grandma has fake teeth, gross. Here you go, Grandma. Try not to swallow your teeth again. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why they need these teeth so small. I can swallow them just so easily. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Finally, I found a spell. Molly, what's this spell for? Just need a couple of household ingredients and everything will be great. Molly, what exactly are you making? Milk, okay. Okay, I should better not drink too much of it. I actually have to make something with this. Molly, what are you making? Tell me right now. Okay, fine, Miss Pushy, Miss Bossy, Miss Grumpy. Molly, quit calling me names. I'm your sister, you have to like me. Correction. I have to love you because you're my sister. I don't really have to like you. Yes, you do, Molly. Okay, shh. Grandma's going to hear you. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Grandma can't hear anything. I am making a spell. Well, actually, a potion to make us adults so we don't have to have a babysitter. Uh, Molly, are you sure that's a good idea? It's a great idea. Quit trying to talk me out of it because I'm doing this. Well, if it works, I guess we don't have to be with boy and grandma all day. Exactly. We can go to the water park, or camping, or, or to the arcade, or the ice cream place, or anywhere we want. Exactly, Molly. Let's do this. Is that it, Molly? Ew, it smells horrible. Well, if um we drink it, maybe we'll be grown-ups. Yeah, if we can stomach it. It smells awful. Well... We have to try, Molly. We're going to be stuck with booing Grandma. Hi, guys. Are you home? Hello? Are you there? Brookie! Oh, my gosh. It's so good to see you. Hey, I was wondering if you guys wanted to come out and see my new scooter. It's amazing. OMG. Yeah, you got a new scooter? That sounds awesome. But, Molly, what about the potion? It'll be here when I get back. Um, what potion? What are you guys talking about? Oh, no, <laughs> nothing. She's, don't, don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Molly! Uh, don't worry about the potion. It's just, just a little experiment we're trying. Oh, no, Molly. Don't tell me you're trying another one of your experiments. This always ends bad. Let's just go look at the scooter. Come on. Wow, Bucky, your new scooter is amazing. I love the color. The yellow is, is so awesome. Reminds me of lemonade. Ah, lemonade. One of my favorites. Along with cupcakes and cookies and pretty much anything sweet. You guys want to go for a ride? Me first! Daisy, no fear. You're already sitting on it. Bye, Molly!
Daddy, see you later. Okay, just never go back now, Bucky, because she's kind of annoying, sister. What? I heard that. Rude. So wait a minute. I don't get a ride on the scooter? Well, she had to go down to the store for her mom and pick up some stuff from the grocery store. Wait, what? But but I wanted a ride. She'll come back later, Molly. Don't worry about it. Ugh, fine. Can't believe you got a ride on the scooter and I didn't. Grandma? Grandma? Where's Grandma? Oh, this looks delicious. What's this? Grandma! No! No! Grandma, don't drink that! OMG, Molly, she drank the potion. Oh, this tastes really bad. Who made this hot cocoa? I know I taught you girls better than this on how to make hot cocoa. Grandma! Oh my gosh, Daisy. If that potion turns you older, then that means Grandma's going to turn into a zombie. I mean, she can't get any older than she already is. OMG, she, she literally is going to turn into a zombie. Oh, I feel really strange. Grandma, it's going to be okay. I'm sorry you're a zombie. What? A zombie? I don't feel like a zombie. I know, it, it's going to happen soon. The transformation, that is. Oh, <laughs> don't be silly. I feel like I have a lot more energy. What? What just... What just happened to me? Grandma? Oh my gosh, you just got younger! Wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought that potion made you older. Um, me too, but apparently, if you're already old, it makes you young and you age backwards. Whoa, that's kind of amazing. OMG, I could do about a thousand of these. <laughs> <sighs> I found the fountain of youth. I mean, it tasted terrible, but who cares? Whee! Oh, I'm going to go run around the block. This is going to be amazing. But Grandma, your bad hips. What bad hips? I feel amazing. Grandma, wait, come back. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Whee! <laughs> so much fun. Uh, I don't even think I could run as fast as Grandma. Holy guacamole. I don't know what you put in that hot chocolate, but it's amazing! Whee! I'm never going back to being old, ever! Um, Daisy, we have a problem. Yeah, you got us into another world of troubles. Go figure. Daisy, I'm serious. What are we going to do about this? Well, it doesn't seem like a bad thing to me. I mean, Grandma's really happy about it. Ooh, I feel kind of funny. Like, you're going to get old and be a zombie? Or maybe end up in the cemetery? Oh, whew, I have to sit down for a minute. No, I don't feel old. I actually kind of feel, well, I don't know. Like, I'm getting younger. What? OMG! Daisy, I, I think she might get younger again! Whoa! I can't believe it! I, I turned back into a little kid! Grandma? Oh, boy. We're in some serious trouble now, Daisy. Correction, you're in some serious trouble, Molly. It was your potion. Yeah, except for the fact that, uh, you were right in the kitchen when I made it. Molly, how are you going to blame me? It was your idea. <laughs> you guys fight like cats and dogs. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Grandma, are you feeling okay? Who's your grandma? I'm not your grandma. My name's Lily. Um, okay, Lily, uh, you used to be my grandma. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I'm no one's grandma yet. I'm just a kid. Oh, my gosh, Daisy, she has an amnesia, too. She can't even remember that she was our grandma. Well, that makes sense because her brain is so young. Why would she want to be someone's grandma right now? She can't be someone's grandma, so her brain doesn't remember that she's someone's grandma. Um, okay, I think that made sense. Yeah, you know what I mean, Molly. <laughs> I'm going to go jump on the bed and eat all these Reese cups. Actually, I just jump on the couch. That sounds fun. Um, we're not allowed to jump on the couch. Don't care. Whee! This is so much fun. Ooh, mm, this chocolate's delicious. I'm going to get in the hot tub now. I'm going to get in the hot tub. Uh, we're, wait, you're not supposed to get in the hot tub. Wait, Molly, um, she's breaking all the house rules. 
I know, she's like a bratty kid. I never knew my grandma was so bratty when she was a kid. Yeah, all those guilt trips she gave us about you need to be good kids and always listen. And she's being a total brat. Yeah, I guess it takes one to know one, huh? Exactly. Hey, get out of the hot tub or you're going to be grounded. You can't ground me. You're the same age as I am. I don't believe you. Who are you anyway? Get out of my house. This is my house. Don't you think that your house would be different than your granddaughter's? I already told you I'm not your grandma. Do I look like I'm super old like a zombie? Well, uh, five minutes ago you kind of did. Yeah, you were like so old. You, your hips didn't even work anymore. What are you guys talking about? You're being so crazy. Oh, I've got to go eat more snacks. I'm starving. Hey, wait a minute. Don't eat the, all of those snacks because you'll get a stomach ache. Yeah, that's it. You just want to eat them all yourself. That's why. And I'm not going to let you. Well, yeah, it's sort of that too. <laughs> mm. This is like the best ice cream I've ever had. Give me back that ice cream. Ew, you want the ice cream after I've licked it? That's disgusting. Well, I'm just saying don't don't eat any more. Oh, my goodness. You're eating everything. Ooh, I feel kind of funny. Oh, no. Not this again. Not this again. <laughs> I bet. My mommy! <laughs> OMG! My grandma just turned into a baby! <sighs> now I have a toddler! I can't believe this! What am I gonna do? Well, Molly, maybe you shouldn't panic. Oh my gosh! Not panic! I'm panicking! I'm panicking! I'm panicking! I'm panicking! Molly, seriously, we gotta figure this out. If mom comes home and sees grandma as a toddler, what's she gonna think? I don't know. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad! All of your plans usually are, Molly. They usually are. Hey, this isn't a time to tease your sister. Well, there is that um, catalog of ancient spell books at the school library. Maybe that would have an answer. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Okay, come on, Lily. Or Grandma or whatever. I just want my mommy. <laughs> okay, I'll take you to your mommy. Come on, follow me. Oh boy, I hope this works. I hope this works! Don't worry, Lily. We'll have this fixed in no time. And then you'll be back to your old self. Yeah, Molly, her old self. <laughs> you can say that again. Okay, well, let's go see if we can find some books in the library. I hope we can find something. How to turn your enemy into a toad. No. How to make blueberry jam. Seriously, that's in a spell book? Daisy, we've been looking through these spell books for hours and we can't find anything. I know, Molly. I feel like it's no use. You made a potion that is completely irreversible. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Hey, where did Lily go? What? I thought you were watching her. No, I wasn't watching her. I thought you were watching her. Oh, no. The baby ran away. Oh, my gosh. And she's grandma baby. It's not just an ordinary baby. It's an old crib keeper, granny. Baby person toddler. Molly, you're really getting confusing right now. I thought you were babysitting her. Well, I thought you were babysitting her. Now we lost granny baby. Well, let's go see if we can find her in quick. Holy guacamole. Lily. Lily. Where are you? Are you in the dumpster? Uh, no. Ew, it stinks in here, though. Lily! Lily, where are you? Lily! Oh, no. Who's calling me? Molly, I don't know. Maybe it's the police and they found Lily. Maybe, but I doubt it. Hello? Oh, hey, Molly. What's up? Oh, hi, Mom. Um, not much. Uh, you know, just hanging out with Grandma. Oh, okay, well, that sounds fun. Um, I'll be home in ten minutes. Ten minutes? What? What are you talking about? Um, I thought you'd be excited I was coming home from the office early. Maybe we could go to the water park? Uh, no, no. No, I'm good. You could stay at the office. Molly, you seem suspicious. Molly, I'll be home in ten minutes, okay? Okay! Daisy, we have to get home! But what about Lily? I don't know. We're gonna have to tell Mom. We've got to be home, though, when she's home. She's going to be really mad. And she's going to ground us, like, forever. Well, Molly, at least go the right way, then. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> We're probably going to be grounded for the rest of our lives. 
Well, I mean, it's not that bad. We gave Grandma a new lease on life. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're definitely getting grounded forever. <laughs> Dizzy, what's that sound? Sounds like someone's sleeping. Oh, my gosh. Look, it's Lily. She's sleeping under the coffee table. That's a weird place to sleep. Not if you're a toddler. Basically, you can fall asleep anywhere. Oh, MG, I just had a huge idea. Oh, boy. Not again. I can't deal with any more of your ideas, Molly. No, seriously, Daisy. We we could give Grandma some more of the potion. Oh, yeah, because that worked out so well for us beforehand. No, seriously. If we give Grandma the potion, it should change her back. How do you figure, Molly? It, it worked backwards. Yeah, if you're old already, it makes you young. If you're young, it makes you old. And now Grandma's young. <gasps> Molly, so it'll make her old again. That's right. But we need to give her a double dose because Granny was really old. Ew, this stuff smells horrible. Oh, Lily, wake up. I want my mommy. <laughs> Lily, it's going to be okay. I made some delicious hot chocolate. Ooh, hot chocolate. That's right. You want it? Here you go. Look, it tastes bad. Drink it all anyway. Molly, don't be rude. You gotta drink it all. I don't want to drink it. Well, you gotta drink it. You have to. Oh, boy, Molly, you're a bad babysitter. Well, good thing she's actually our babysitter. Oh, feel funny. You feel super funny. Oh, my hips. They hurt so bad. Where's my wheelchair? Grandma? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I think my memory might be going a little crazy because I don't remember what happened today. Oh. Grandma, uh, no big deal. You just fell asleep, that's all. Yeah, Grandma, we're just so happy to have you back. Back? Where'd I go? Back from La La Land when you were sleeping. <laughs> from your dreams, of course. You girls are acting so peculiar today. <laughs> yeah, sure, Grandma, sure. Hi, guys, I'm home. Oh, <laughs> hi, Grandma. Oh, hi, dear. Yes, they were perfectly good little angels. Mom, hi, you're home. Uh-huh, I told you 10 minutes. What'd you guys do today? Did you have uh, anything fun to do? Nah, it was totally an ordinary day. Right, Daisy? Yeah, boring even. Totally ordinary. Oh, yes, very ordinary. Except for the fact I can't remember most of it. What did you say, Grandma? She didn't say anything. Totally ordinary. Okay, well, Grandma, you gotta go home now. Thanks for watching us. <laughs> See you next time. Oh, I'm just glad you girls had such a boring, ordinary day. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Whew, that was a close one. Oh my gosh, Wednesday, is that you? Who else would it be? OMG, you even brought Fang with you. That's right, Fang goes everywhere with me. So are we going to play this game you've been telling me about? Yeah, I, I, I can't believe you responded to my TikTok. Anyway, this is how you play the game. What we do is we spin a wheel and we have to do what the wheel says. Ugh. We actually have to do what other people say. Yeah, the wheel, not people, the wheel. But you can't touch any colors or you're out. Whoever wins the most rounds of the five rounds wins the game. Are you ready, Wednesday? I am always ready for any battle. Um, okay. You're better than I thought, but I still like you. I think you're amazing. All right, let's spin that wheel, Wednesday. You can go first. Some of these are ridiculous. Stand on the school bathroom toilet. That's right. Stand on the school bathroom toilet. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? You got stand on the school bathroom toilet. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's the one you have to do then. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't touch any colors. Uh, how am I gonna get over to the school? Oh my gosh. Well, white's not really a color. Don't touch that yellow Wednesday or you'll be out and I will have the opportunity to win this round. Don't worry, I'm not going to lose. Oh my gosh, how am I going to cross the street? Is black a color? 
Not really. We won't count black or white as colors in this game, okay? Because that just would make it impossible. Exactly. Even though I think black really is a color. No, I meant colorful colors. You're just so much like my roommate, Enid. I swear. Uh, what about red? Yep, red is a color. What about gray? Uh-huh, gray is also a color. Well, I can't get up to the bathroom then. Okay, maybe if I just... Uh, 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 uh. You touched red, you ow! Oh, man. I can't believe I lost. Well, Dizzy, I guess it's your turn. I am going to do awesome at this game. I just know it. Come on, make it an easy one. Make it an easy one, Wheel. Come on. You're probably going to get standing in the toilet like I did. Home to watch TV. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. All right, let's do this. Are we starting at the park every single time? Of course. I think that just makes it fail. Remember, we can step on black and white. But not any bright colors. Got it. Come on, Thing. We have to try to win this game. Wait, what do we win? You win a million Robux. Holy guacamole. Whoa, my sister says that. She does? I guess your sister's really cool. Uh-oh, I can't walk up the stairs. I can, because it's not my turn. Um, let's see. Um, eh, uh. I think it's going to be too hard if you don't actually, well, if you don't actually, uh, able to walk on gray, too. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, no, I stepped on green! Oh, my gosh, this game is too hard. Really? Do you think so? Maybe we need to make the rules a little easier. Like, you can also step on gray, because that's not a bright color. Okay, yeah, that does seem pretty fail. Should we start over? Oh, wait, we'll do full rounds. Is that okay? Fine by me. Let's go back to the park, and you can step on white, black, or gray, but no bright color. Yeah, because otherwise we can't even do this. It's too hard. Let's try again. You know, Daisy, rules were meant to be broken. Um, that's not really my motto in life, but this time I think, well, the rules just make it impossible. Four rounds. You against me. And, well, my pet thing. I wonder which one you're going to get. Oh, my gosh. It's so exciting. Nothing's exciting to me. Ooh, diner, eat food. This one I could be good at. Well, then you're more like my sister than I ever thought. Okay, just be careful Wednesday. Don't step on any colors except for black, white, and gray. Got it. So far, I don't see any... Wait, what about brown? Um, well, um... This game is impossible. Why am I hanging out with you today? Just don't step on it. Okay, you're still good. You're still good. You're standing on the trash can. You're good, and that's black. Okay, um, don't move any closer, though, because you'll be standing right on that brown. Whoa, you totally jumped into that seat. Wait, are you sitting on brown? No, I didn't poop my pants. No, I meant the color brown. Oh, man, you sat on the dino chair. Now you're out. What? I didn't even see that. I think brown should be included. You just keep wanting to break all the rules, Wednesday. That's not fair. You lost this round. Fail and squeal. Fine, whatever. Let's go back to the park, and, and we'll see how easy it is for you to play this game. I'm gonna be the winner. I just know it. I'm gonna be the winner. I just know it. Stand on school bathroom toilet. This one's impossible. No, it's not. Well, are you ready for this? Do 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 do. Nice touch with that music. Thank you very much. I love music. All right, let's go stand in the bathroom toilet, guys. Let's not touch any colors. I want to beat Wednesday at this game really bad. Okay, so far, all I see is gray. That's allowed. And the stairs are gray, also allowed. Oop, I didn't touch any white. Uh-oh. You touched a color. You touched blue. But I had to in order to go into the bathroom. Uh, maybe you're right. Maybe this game is impossible. Whatever. I'm just gonna go chill out and read a book. 
No, Wednesday, come on. I know one of us can win at least one of these rounds. <laughs> Ew, Wednesday. It wasn't me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just had to go poo-poo. Ew, gross. I really need to win at least one round of this. We can't be friends anymore. Really? No, we were never friends to start with. Eat something in the school cafeteria. You might actually win this one Wednesday. You might! If I want to die from bad school food. Well, do you want to win or do you want to eat school food? Because if you don't eat the school food, you're going to lose. Fine. Oh, this is going to be disgusting. So far, so good, Wednesday. Just don't touch a color. Not a single color. Uh, duh. I know what the rules are. Okay, I have to get into the school cafeteria without touching any colors. There's a red mat at the front door. Can't touch that. All right, now the school cafeteria is up here. Don't touch that red color. Hmm, is there anything that's not colored that's food? Well, I mean, if it's not touching you and you just swallow it without actually chewing... Um, I think, I think maybe. Wait, if you pour the Coca-Cola down my throat, then that is black and I wouldn't be touching the can. Well, that would technically be me helping you to win, but I guess someone has to win this silly game. Okay, Wednesday, here you go. Wednesday, you won a round. Congratulations. This is the most ridiculous game I've ever played. Well, I came up with it, so I guess I'm ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, how many rounds was that? I don't know, but I think it was probably too many. Can we quit now? No! Okay, I have to go to the dino and eat food. All right, I can do this even better than Wednesday. I know it. Do -do 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 -do. I'm gonna win this game. Uh, correction, I'm the only one that's won a round. Okay, yeah, but I'm probably going to win because I think I could do this one. I didn't do so well at it. Let's see how you do. Okay. Um, I just have to jump from here to somewhere. <laughs> Good luck. Whoa, you actually laughed. I didn't even think that was possible Wednesday. Whoa, she got up onto the counter. But what are you going to eat? Well... Technically, whatever is in that sauce that's in that white bottle. Oh, it's mayonnaise. Um, that's white, so here goes nothing. Ew, you're going to eat mayonnaise all by itself? Gross. Here, you're going to need some Coke to wash that down. No, I can't drink the Coke because that would mean I'd lose. Oh, my gosh. You're going to drink that? Ew, that's so gross. Well, now we're tied. We have to do one more round to see who the winner is. Who, who do you guys think is going to win? Me, Daisy, or Wednesday Adams? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Oh, thanks for the props, Wednesday. Amazing. Let's just get this final round over with. I don't want to embarrass you in front of your fans too much. I hope you get something different, Wednesday, not the same old, same old. Me too. I like a new challenge. Get an ice cream from Ice Cream Parlor. Ooh, that's a new one! So remember, if you lose this round, that means I have the chance to be the winner. How many colors are in this place? I don't even know. <gasps> the floor is black and white. Okay, this is great. What? <gasps> they have a vanilla! That means you're gonna win! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you touched the brown cone! That means I have the chance to be the winner. What? That's not even fair. How am I supposed to eat ice cream without the cone? Um, well, you could have gotten it in a dish. Oh, this game is so frustrating. La, 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 la. Spin the wheel. La, 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 la. Spin the wheel. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Go to school and write on teacher's board. Oh, I'm so nervous. Am I going to win? If you win, this will be the worst game ever. Well, that's just because you're a sore loser. <laughs> At least you won a cheater. Exactly. If I win, it's going to be fair and square. All right, here goes nothing. 
Okay, all I have to do is not touch any colors and write on the teacher's board. And I am the winner! All right, which board should I write on? Um, not that one. That, oh my gosh, they all have blue doors! <laughs> Can you go in through the window? Will you open the door for me Wednesday? Please? Sorry, Brookhaven doesn't work that way. I can't. Oh my gosh! Looks like we're tied forever. <laughs> Can I call you to play another game tomorrow? No. How about the next day? No. How about the next day? How about never? <laughs> The um, weather is about to come on, and I want to see if school's canceled because we're supposed to get a bunch of snow. What? We're supposed to get a bunch of snow again? Ugh, so much snow here lately. Yeah, but it means we get out of school. Woohoo! It also means that we can't go to school and learn anything. We're going to be so dumb by the end of the school year. Dumb schmum. <laughs> Sleigh riding. Hot cocoa. No homework. Attention, please. Attention. We are experiencing a small delay. Okay, okay. We fixed the delay. Oh, oh, there's still no visual. Oh, I hate working for this Brookhaven news station. Uh, sir, you're on air. <laughs> that was so unprofessional. Okay, what, what's happening? What's happening? Um, uh, sorry, everyone. What I wanted to say was we're supposed to get another six feet of snow. Six feet of snow? Holy guacamole! Wait, did they cancel school? Not yet, Molly. They're probably waiting to see what will happen. Girls, come on. It's time for bed. Um, Mom? Yes? Mom, we, we don't have to go to bed right now. We can stay up late. What? Why? Because we're not going to have school tomorrow. Well, did they announce that on the news? Uh, no, but they said we're going to get, like, another six feet of snow. Six feet? Oh, my gosh, it's a ton of snow. Why did they cancel school? I think the news reporter was kind of crazy. I don't think he was even knowing what he was talking about. He was complaining about Brookhaven News on live TV. Oh, hmm. Well, maybe we should get ready for bed anyway. You might still have school. What? No, I want to stay up late and watch a movie. Please, Mom, please, 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 please. Molly, oh, my gosh, no. All three of you, go brush your teeth and get to bed. Okay. I don't know why my mom's making me get ready for school in the morning because, you know what? We're not even going to have school. It's going to be so much snow. <laughs> We're not going to have sn any school for a week. It's going to be like snowvid. <laughs> oh, I'm exhausted. What a day. I'm not. I'm not even tired. Molly, you're yawning. You're totally tired. Wait, don't forget to turn off the light. I'm always the one that has to turn off the light. Well, that's because you're the one that's always the last to go to bed. I'm not even tired. I'm not even tired. be just a dream <coughs> definitely not a dream what is that sound i think it's coming from downstairs i'm gonna go check it out what is that oh my gosh it looks like a crying baby kira cat and mom are you a cat sleepwalking time to go back to bed definitely daisy was right this time i need to get some sleep <laughs> huh, what what is morning already <sighs> look we got snow daisy wake up OMG, but it looks like we only got a couple of inches. We'll probably still have school. Daisy, I had the craziest dream last night. Daisy, are you ever gonna wake up? Ugh, I can't believe how lazy she's being this morning. Daisy? Ah! Daisy! You're a yeah, 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 yeah! You're a what? Meow. 
You're 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 a cat. Uh, of course I am. Meow. What happened to you, by the way? What happened to me? What are you talking about? I was never a cat. Neither were you. This is just so crazy. Meow. I don't know what you're talking about. I've always been a cat. You must have gotten a bonk on your head and you have amnesia. But anyway, we're gonna be late for school, so get going. What? No, this this can't be right. Wake up, Molly. Wake up. Wake up! Uh, Mom, something crazy is happening. Mom! 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 Ma uh, oh my gosh, it wasn't a dream. Baby Kira's... Baby Kira's a... A, a, a kitten! Meow. Of course she is, Molly. Wait, why aren't you a cat? What happened to you? you, 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 you you're human! Of course I'm human. Why are you guys cats? Meow, meow, meow. Does she speak... Does she speak human? Well, she's breaking on it, but she's still a kitten. You want some milk for breakfast or maybe some delicious tuna fish? Ew, gross! No, I'm just gonna go get dressed and, and hopefully when I get to school, everything will be back to normal. I think I might be having like some sort of amnesia or, or, or I don't know, maybe, maybe everybody else has gone crazy. It can't be me that's crazy, right? It just can't be. It can't be! I bet Mrs. Smith isn't a cat. Oh gosh, yes she is! Meow plus milk equals purr. Oh my gosh, this is the craziest day ever. Well, I guess I better go in there and face the cats. Meow. Good morning, Molly. You're late. Sorry, Mrs. Smith. Is that your name? Of course it is. What's gotten into you, Molly? And why aren't you wearing ears or, or your whiskers? She's not a cat for some reason, Teachel. Oh my gosh. Well, I have to take 10 points off your grade then. This is cat school. Meow. Oh my gosh, I just got 10 points taken off of me just because I'm not a cat. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Like I had a choice in the matter. Okay, everyone. Today, our theme is meow plus milk equals purr. Let's hear everyone do it. Meow. Milk. Very good, Daisy. Now, Molly, let's hear your meow. Um, uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh, that sounded like it was going to shatter the glass. That was the worst meow ever. I can try again. Stop it, Molly. You're making my ear cat, my cat ears hurt. Oh my goodness, I don't belong here. This isn't for me. That's right, it isn't. You don't belong in Brookhaven at all. You're not. A cat! Everybody, we should ban Molly from Brookhaven since she's human. Fine! If you don't want me in Brookhaven, I don't need to be here. I, I didn't like it that much anyway. Goodbye, daycare. Goodbye, Brookhaven shelter. Goodbye, school. Goodbye, Starbucks coffee. Oh my gosh, I guess I kind of did like it here, but who cares? I don't need you with cat people. Oh, I'm freezing! It's okay. Tomorrow, I'll set out and find a, a new town that's not full of cat people. I'm just so cold. The snow is so cold, and the sleeping bag is not meant to be laid on the ground. It's just, I hope I can survive. Well, I did find this burrito from the garbage. Mm. It's still pretty tasty. Hey, you. Ah! It's a giant rat! Oh, I don't like rodents. I don't like rodents. I'm sorry. I stole your burrito. Here, you, you can have it. You can have the burrito back. I don't want your burrito. I just was here to tell you I I know how you feel. What do you mean? I'm always the bad guy in cat world. I'm a rat. I get chased. I get my tail pulled. I have to try to eat out of the dumpster. It's the worst. Yeah, well, I'm a human in cat world, and, and I guess I'm an outcast. Me too. Sounds like we're going to be the best of friends. Come on, I'll show you where I've created. What do you mean, what you've created? I've created my own town. Seriously? Wait, what's it called? Rat World. And you'll fit in. But I'm not a rat. Doesn't matter. You'll be my friend, so you'll be cool. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, well, goodbye, Brookhaven. Goodbye, family. Goodbye, smelly, crazy cats. We're here, come on. Um, why are we going into the sewer treatment plant? Where do you think Rat World is? Um, I was hoping not in the sewer treatment plant. Come on, 
This is the entrance. Just follow me. Um, Mr. Rat Guy, I think I'm changing my mind about going to Rat World. Why? Because you fit in so well here? Come on. It's your only choice. Well, here goes nothing. The entryway to Rat World. Oh, there's a rat already. Hi there. Uh, welcome to Rat World. Yeah, we're so glad you could make it. Um, thank you, I think. Uh, it's kind of smelly down here. Really? We don't smell a thing. Yeah, well, you guys are rats, so you probably don't mind, but I'm human, so I sort of do, but I don't belong in Brookhaven. So, I guess Rat World is my new home. <laughs> Molly, don't you have some chores or something to do? Nope, I'm just chilling on the couch with you, Dad. Um, yeah, but you should be doing chores or homework or something. No, Dad, I'm being a couch potato. A couch potato? What are you talking about? There's, we, we don't allow cow, couch potatoes in this house. Dad, you're a couch potato, and I learned from the best. Ah, <sighs> so full of strawberry milkshake. So full! Okay, well, do as I say, not as I do. What? No, Dad, lead by example. Ugh, sometimes you're too smart for your own good, Molly. Now, go do your homework. I've got to go out and mow the lawn. Okay, I'll do my homework. In a little while. Hi, Dad, I already did my homework. Great job, Daisy. Wouldn't expect anything less from you. Molly, Dad told you to do your homework. I will. I'll get around to it eventually. Mm, you know what I'd like? Some ice cream. Molly, you just ate a strawberry milkshake. Yeah, I know, but I'm still a little hungry. You just said you were so full! I know, but I have this little tiny spot right here in my stomach that's still hungry. Hey, girls! Oh, I just got back from my morning jog. Oh, wow, that sounds very motivated, Mom. <laughs> I just got done drinking a strawberry milkshake. It was delicious. Um, girls, I need you to do your homework and your chores. La, 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 la. Dad already told us all that stuff. We know. Okay, Molly. I already did my homework. I I'll do my chores um, as soon as I finish brushing my teeth and stuff. Huh. <sighs> this is the life. Just chilling. Molly, you can't just sit here all day long. Why? Seems like a good idea to me. La 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 la. Daisy, you're in front of the television. I love this. This commercial is great. Molly, I'm trying to do my chores. I don't really care about watching a commercial you've seen a million other times. Well, I care, Daisy. I care. Molly, you're going to get so fat. You keep eating all that bad food for you. Uh-huh. Mm. That's my game plan. To be epically huge and never leave the couch. Molly, you really are going to be a couch potato. I'm working on it. I'm working very hard at it. Ugh. <laughs> 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 That lawn was so huge. Oh, too much grass to mow. Molly, can you get me a drink? <coughs> Molly, need water. <sighs> Dad, are you okay? Water. Oh, I already thought you might need some water. Here you go, Dad. Oh, Daisy, thank you. Thank you so much. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. Well, would you expect Molly to not be snoring on the couch after not doing any chores or any homework? All she did was eat junk food and watch TV all day. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less from her either. Why doesn't anybody expect Molly to do the things that I have to do? Well, Daisy, you're just a good kid. We know you are. Well, why is that Molly expected to be a good kid? Um, because she's, um, Molly. That's not really fair! So yeah, then the instructor said that I was accepted into the dance school this summer. Whoa, Brookie, that's amazing! I'm so happy for you! Molly, you better get off the phone! It's 9 o'clock and it's time for bed! You haven't even done your night routine! Who's that in the background? That's just my annoying sister! Sorry, Brookie, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Molly, I'm not annoying! Fine, whatever. Um, so, does that mean we can't hang out this summer? Yeah, for like three weeks I'm going to be at the school. Oh, man, I'm going to miss you so much, Brookie. I'm going to miss you too, Molly. Molly, are you ever going to get off that phone? I'm trying to go to sleep. Well, Brookie, I've got to go. My annoying sister wants me to get off the phone. 
Okay, well, I'll see you at school tomorrow. Bye. Daisy, you are so rude. Ew, Molly, what's that smell coming out of your mouth? What? What smell? Ew, have you brushed your teeth today? Um, no. Oh. Did you eat a tuna fish sandwich? Uh, yeah. Ew, Molly, your breath stinks horrible. Brush your teeth. And you know what? I'm really sick of being the one that's a good kid and does all the homework and the chores, brushes her teeth, goes to bed on time, and you're naughty and you get away with it. Wow. I never thought about that. Mom and Dad think you're the good daughter? Yeah, you're the naughty one. And they don't even care. Wow. I don't want to be the naughty one. I want to be a good daughter, too. That's it. I'm turning over a new leaf. First, I'll brush my teeth. Then, I'll do my homework. Take a bath. Ah, that's very relaxing, actually. Even do my chores. Ah, I'm excited. Exhausted. Huh. Huh. Time for bed. Good morning, girls. Time to get up. Ugh, I ate way too much last night. Huh? What? Too tired. Too tired. Girls, come on. Wake up. Daisy, um, as usual, I need you to vacuum the floors and make sure all your schoolwork is done. I have a very early work meeting today and no eating junk food. Mom, my stomach kind of hurts. Okay, well, I'm sure you'll feel better if you just get up and get moving. Uh, okay, if you say so. Ugh, I'm so sick of being a good one. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have eaten those Doritos last night before bed. <laughs> I'm not going to be the good one anymore. Uh-uh. I'm eating cheesy snacks in my bed. I'm going to leave crumbs everywhere. Doritos for breakfast? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Daisy, oh, I was up really late. Go back to bed. Molly, it's time to wake up, says the good sister to the naughty one. We're not for long. Ugh, it's not even seven yet. I'm so tired. Whatever, Molly. I'm just chilling on the couch. Huh? Who are you and what have you done with my sister? What are you talking about, Molly? I'm always lazy. What? No, you're not. Right now you'll be doing chores and schoolwork and eating a healthy breakfast. Well, I didn't eat a healthy breakfast. Listen to my stomach. Oh, why is it making that weird noise? Because I ate Doritos for breakfast. Doritos for breakfast? Okay, you really are an alien. What have you done with Daisy? I'm Daisy, and I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm sick of being the good one all the time while you get away with being naughty. I'm not naughty anymore. I don't like being naughty. I'm going to go finish up my chores. I got a little tired last night, and I couldn't finish them all, so I'm going to mop the bathroom. Yeah, whatever, Molly. No, I really am. Then I'm going to just clean the toilet. Nobody likes that job. Nobody! Stinky doo-doos! Yuck. Perfect. Now I'm just going to go have a healthy breakfast. A healthy breakfast? Yeah, right, Molly. Molly, you eating an apple? Speaking of aliens, you must be one. My sister would never eat an apple for breakfast. I told you, Daisy. I don't like being the naughty one anymore. I kind of want to be the good daughter, or at least one of the good daughters. Whatever, being the good daughter's overrated. Trust me. I'm gonna go lay back on the couch. Um, when's mom coming home? Who cares? Don't know. Okay, I guess I'll finish up the laundry then. I guess it's not so bad to be a good a good daughter. I mean <laughs> it's fun to be naughty sometimes, but why won't this washer open? Okay, maybe I gotta put the laundry down. Okay, there we go. Couldn't even get it open. <laughs> Which tells you how much I do chores. Girls, I'm home. Okay, I better put this laundry in really quick. I want it to be done for mom Um, by the time she like, well, she's already home, so it can't be done by then. But I want it to be done in like 30 minutes. So that way um, she doesn't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, I have to close up the refrigerator too. Mom's gonna be so proud of me when she sees all the stuff I've done. What is going on? There are Dorito crumbs all over the floor and on the couch. And girls, I thought you were supposed to be working on that science project. Um, yeah, I, 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 it was Molly. 
Mom, she she left all the Doritos and and also she didn't do the laundry or clean or anything like she was supposed to. And I'm sick of it. Why do I always have to do everything? And by the way, I also cleaned and then she made it messy again. What? You made it messy after this, your sister already cleaned? No, I didn't, Daisy. I cleaned and then Daisy made these messes. She ate the Doritos for breakfast. Molly, come on. We know that you're always the one that eats naughty things for breakfast, leaves crumbs everywhere, and your sister does all the chores. You're always the naughty one. But, but I turned over a new leaf, Mom. I wasn't the naughty one this time. Really? Well, then what are all these crumbs all over the floor doing? Um, they came out of Daisy's mouth when she was recklessly eating Doritos. I don't waste Doritos. You wouldn't find a lot of crumbs on the floor if it was me. Oh, Molly, stop with these excuses. I think you should be grounded. Your sister's right. She shouldn't have to do all the chores just for you to mess them up. But I did the chores while she laid on the couch. And then she messed them up. Molly, I don't believe you. You're the naughty daughter. What? But, but, but... Molly, you're grounded. Go to your room, please. It wasn't even my fault! Daisy, you're evil! Aww. I can't believe my sister blamed it at me. My mom believed her. <laughs> I mean, I know I've been naughty in the past, but I really was trying to be a good daughter. <laughs> hey, Molly, what's up? It's all your fault. You're rude. Now you know what it really feels like to be the naughty daughter. Yeah, I do, Molly. And now you know what I feel like being the good daughter. Oh, this stinks. <laughs> Daisy, you have to tell her the truth. You know you can't be naughty forever. Watch me, Molly. Watch me. <laughs> wow, my sister has gone to the dark side. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Are you awake? Good morning. Good morning. Wait a minute. Brookie Cookie was sleeping in your crib, Daisy. Where is she? Brookie? Brookie? I I don't know where she went. Oh my gosh. We have to find her. She's she's gone. Oh my goodness, where could she be? Oh, she's not in the bunk beds, which makes sense, because she's so little. I, I don't think she could climb up there. I'm sure she's somewhere, Mom. Mm, what's for breakfast? I want a bottle. You have to wait, Molly. I have to find Brookie Cookie. Whoa! Ow, I fell down the stairs. Oh, are you okay? Come here. It's okay, come on. I'll help you down the stairs. I did a potato with a bee. Oh, that's right. I forgot Daisy. Okay, I gotta go back and get Daisy. You stay here, Molly. Okay. La la la. I want a bottle. We jump it on the couch. We. <laughs> we. So much fun. So much fun. We. Ow! 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 Okay, try again. Molly, you're not supposed to be jumping on the couch. Get down from there right this instant. Whee! It's fun! No, you're going to fall and get a bonk on your head. Remember last time. Oh, da -da 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 -ba -ba. It's okay. Let's go camping! Yeah! Da -da -da -ba -ba. Camping? No, we're not going camping. We have to find Brookie Cookie. Brookie Cookie sleeping in the dog bed. Oh, da -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. Good morning. Good morning, Brookie. Oh, she's so cute. Isn't she sleeping in the dog bed? What? Brookie Cookie? Oh my gosh. How'd you end up in the dog bed? Well, Daisy was hogging the crib, so I came down here. Da -da -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Whee! I'm going to get in the dog bath. Molly, don't get in the... Ugh, okay, whatever. Does this mean I still have to give you a regular bath if you took a bath in the dog bath? Nope, I'm all clean. <laughs> now what's for breakfast? 
Yeah, I'm starving. Where's Daisy now? Daisy? I'm right here. Sheesh, open your eyes. I can't. I'm still tired. Ooh, toast. That looks good. Maybe I can make a breakfast sandwich. Let's see what I've got. Oh, yeah. Mm. How about some nice fruit for breakfast? No. I'm eating an egg and tomato sandwich. Oh, brother Miley, that really sounds disgusting. It's really good. You should try it. No, thanks. I think I'll just have something normal. Egg and tomatoes and ew. It's very good. Uh, I think I'll try it. I don't know, but I'm hungry. <laughs> we don't have to cry about it. What are you, a baby? Routines with three babies. What was I thinking? Don't lie, Mom. You love us all. Of course I love you all, but seriously, three babies. Molly, what are you doing? I'm riding on your shoulders. Giddy up, horsey! Molly, we're not playing horse right now. We have to make sure everyone's had their breakfast. And then will you change my diaper? Ew! No one wants to change your stinky diaper! Molly, I'm a baby. You have to change my diaper. No, I don't have to change it! Yeah, but mom does. Okay, girls. Okay. Um, why don't you guys line up and I'll change each of your diapers. No, I'm a big girl now. I'll use the potty. Yeah, wait, Molly. That's what you said yesterday before you poopy on the floor. I did not. Take that back. Rude. Closing the door. Whoa. That potty looks really big. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I, I might get flushed. I think this might be a bad idea. Molly, are you okay in there? Um, yeah. Oh, I need a shower. Hitting in the tub, the tub, the tub. Ah, much better. Molly, I'm so glad that you think you're a big girl now, but you should wait until I can be in there to give you a bath. Uh-huh, sure. Did you why is she taking a bath by yourself? Um, yep, and I'm totally clean. Wow, Molly, you really are getting to be a big girl. You did it all by yourself? Yep. Well, there's still some soap in your hair. Okay, fine, I'll go wash it out. <laughs> do you need some help, Molly? No, I can do it, I'm a big girl now. Oh, you're such a big girl, you still talk in baby talk. Okay, well, I can't help it, okay? I'm still sort of a baby, but I can do a lot of things on my own. Okay, well, would you like to go to preschool? Um, no. Molly, preschool's gonna be fun. Come on. I don't want to go to preschool. I don't want to do it. I'm not going. Molly, we all have to go to preschool. It's good for us. I don't want to go. I'm gonna sit here and watch TV. Well, too bad. I'm hungry again. I'm hungry. Daisy, you just had breakfast. What are you talking about? You're hungry. Yeah, piggy. What, what are you eating? I'm eating a s'more. What? How come you got a s'more for breakfast? I didn't get a s'more for breakfast. <laughs> oh my goodness, girls. Come on, it's time for school. Fine, but I'm still mad I didn't get a s'more. And I pooped my pants. Oh, I need a vacation. Okay, here we are, right at preschool. I don't feel so good. Me evil. Me either. Oh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Oh, my gosh. All of my babies are sick. Watch out. Everybody in town, watch out. Emergency. Emergency. Oh, I don't feel so good. Everybody watch out. Don't hit me with your car. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to take my babies to the hospital. You poor things. Hello. What can I do for you today? Wait, you can't go in there. Yes, this is an emergency. 911. Hello. What can I do for you? Oh, my gosh. Three sick babies. Holy guacamole. Please make them better. I go first. I don't feel good. Oh, it's nice to see you, Molly. Would you like me to heal your whole family? Yes, please. Oh, thank you so much, Dr. Hart. Okay, girls, are you ready to go to preschool? Wait a minute. I was sick. I don't have to go to school. <laughs> no, you still have to go to preschool. What? No, I should get a sick day. <laughs> oh, 
Molly, quit crying about it. I can't help it, I'm a baby! I cry for no reason! <laughs> oh, brother, how would I get stuck with her as a sister? Hey, you're mean! Okay, girls, here's your preschool! Wow, it's like pandemonium in here. There's eggs and people and... I just want to sit down in my seat. Go ahead, Molly, have a seat. I can't fit, I'm too tiny! Wouldn't that mean you were too fat if you couldn't fit? I don't know, that's why I'm in school! Wow, I feel so much smarter already! I did it all by that, bye bye. Don't feel smart again. Well, Daisy, uh, keep trying. School's almost over, then we could go to the park. Yeah, the park! Woohoo! Like a very long recess, that would be great. Yes, I finished school! And that completes our morning routine. Where will mom get you? I don't know. We kind of wore her out this morning. She might be on vacation. <laughs> yeah, boy. Like moms ever get vacations. <laughs> Molly, why are you running home? You could be using your scooter just like me. Because uh, I'm trying to get exercise. Why? So you can eat more donuts and potato chips? <laughs> no, because I'm going to try out for something. Really? What is it? The detention club? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> the detention club. <laughs> no, Daisy. Not the detention club. Oh, never mind, you wouldn't understand. You're right, because I don't spend any of my time in detention. Hey, Molly, how was school today? Dad, when are you going back to work? Oh, you know I hurt my neck. Yeah, Dad, I know. You accidentally fell off the edge of the stairs outside when you were um, when you were using the um shovel to shovel off the sidewalk. Yeah, and now I can't go back to being a cop for at least another week. I miss it so much. This is what I'm watching. Oh, wow, Dad, you really do miss your job. Molly, let's play Roblox together. Can't, busy. Hey, Molly, how was school? Did you get detention? Do I have to sign any papers that say you were really bad? No, I didn't do any of those things. Oh, phew. One day break from you being naughty. Yeah, Mom, um, I'm going to go outside, okay? Uh, do you have a ton of homework? I already did it. I did it in study hall. Wow, Molly, are you turning over a new leaf? Yeah, I guess you could say that. All right, Molly, well, have fun outside. Molly, it's freezing out. I can't believe you're gonna go outside. We could be playing Roblox. Nope, got something to do. All right. Molly, it's time to train. I'm gonna be the best basketball player in the world. Okay, I'm gonna run to the end of the street and back. I have to be in good athletic shape in order to um, dribble the ball back and forth and make all the shots. <sighs> I'm out of breath, though, because I eat way too many donuts. Ooh, donuts. Molly, focus, focus. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to take out my basketball just for the added weight. All right, I got this. All right, now I'm going to pretend that I'm actually shooting hoops because I don't have a basketball hoop in my house. Yeah! Uh-oh. It's going down the hill. <laughs> I'm not going to run after it. Just kidding. I have another basketball. Woo! Oh, yeah. I'm getting good at basketball already. I can feel it. I'm going to go see what Molly's doing, Mom. She's probably getting into trouble. Yeah, that's a good idea. Molly can be a bit of a troublemaker. <sighs> Donuts. Cookies. Cupcakes. No, focus! I'm going to be the best basketball player ever. What is she doing? She's running back and forth down the street, throwing basketballs down the hill. She has totally lost her mind. Oh, no, there's Daisy. She's going to annoy me, and she's going to distract me from my training. Molly, what are you doing? Hey, are you throwing basketballs at me? Sorry, you're kind of in the way of my training. Molly, what are you doing? I am going to try out for the basketball team. Molly, you can't. Don't tell me I can't. I can do anything I put my mind to. Um, okay, Molly, if you say so. Okay, Molly, you can do this. You can do this. I have to give myself a little bit of a pep talk because I'm kind of nervous about tryouts today, but I know that I can do this. I practice so hard. I'm going to get on the basketball team. I just know it. 
Well, I better get to the gym. Hey, Molly, I'm here to cheer you on. I even wore my cheerleading outfit. Oh, gee, thanks. Thought you didn't think I could make it. Well, I don't, Molly, but I still want to be supportive. Uh, thanks, I guess. Well, Molly, I mean, I, I, I want to tell you something, if you don't already know. Look, Daisy, I'd love to stand here and talk to you all day, but I'm going to be late for tryouts. But it's about tryouts, Molly. You're not allowed to try out. I can do anything I want. Watch out, Daisy. Oh, I thought she said she was going to be here to cheer me on. Great job, Dylan. Let's see your next shot. You've almost made it onto the team. Hey, thanks, coach. Wow, he looks really good. He's a lot taller than me, too. Excuse me, what are you doing in the gym right now? I'm here for tryouts. Well, they're time tryouts, first of all. Do you have a time slot? Um, yeah. No, I don't. But I I'm really good. Also, um, I don't know what you're trying out for, but you can't be here. Wait, why? Because this is a boys basketball team. What? Yeah, there's no girls basketball team in Brookhaven. And, uh, you're not a boy. Oh, um, okay. Well, um, uh, I have a brother. Yeah, that's it. And he wants to try out. Is there still time slots today? Yeah, there's one at 3.30, but he'd have to call in quick to get it. Okay, um, thanks for the information. No, girls are allowed to try out? Well, I'll fix that. <laughs> Just go into the auditorium because nobody's in here. Watch this. <coughs> Hello, this is, um, Fred. Yeah, that's it. Hello, Fred. What can I do for you? Uh, <clears throat> I'd like the 330 tryout slot, please. Okay, Fred. Did you practice? Of course I did. All right, well, we'll see you at 330 for tryouts. Thanks, coach. Now I just have to pretend I'm a boy, try out for the team, get on the team, and become a basketball sensation. <laughs> Easy peasy. Now time to turn into a boy. Okay, let's see what I have in my backpack. I'm sure I could come up with something. Um, uh, I guess these will work. And, uh, now I need a boy shirt. Um, okay, that one will work. And I need a wig. <laughs> look at me! I look like a boy! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Meat, no longer Molly, but Fred! I just got to work on making my voice sound a little bit lower. <laughs> Perfect. You are going to get on this basketball team, Fred. Ah! There's a boy in the ghost bathroom! I'm telling! Uh-oh. Better get out of here. <laughs> Even my sister didn't recognize me. Perfect. Both of you guys have made it onto the team. Now I want you to keep doing jumping jacks for at least an hour. Oh, man, maybe we shouldn't have gotten on the team in the first place. And who might you be? Um, uh, uh, I'm Fred. I've got the 3.30 slot. Okay, let's see how fast you can run from one end of the gym to the other. Let's do this. Okay, uh, I mean, okay. Huh, I've really got to wow these guys. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, Fred, you're really fast. <laughs> yeah. Especially for a girl, huh? Wow! Holy guacamole, your time is awesome! Okay, let's see how you do with the basketball now. Okay. Um, okay. You having a little problem with your voice? Um, no, I just got a little bit of a cold, coach. Alright, let's see if you can make some hoops. Oh, wow! Great job! Alright, go back a little farther onto the court and let's see if you can make a hoop from here. Ooh, you, you're, you're making a basket almost on every single turn. Holy guacamole, you're a great basketball player, Fred. Yeah, I know. I, I, I definitely should be on the team, right? Absolutely. Um, can you be here for practice every single day? Yeah, you bet I can. Okay, get over there and start doing some jumping jacks. You got it, coach. Yes, I tricked the coach and everyone else. And now I get to be on the basketball team. <laughs> Who says a girl isn't as good? Of course we are! Alright boys, let's step it up. I can't do any more jumping jacks, coach! Okay, I guess you guys are dismissed for the day. I'll see you after class tomorrow. 
No problem, coach. Yeah, no problem, coach. I can do jumping jacks while I leave. Okay, class is dismissed. Molly, are you coming home? I can't believe you don't have detention. Uh, no, I, I've got some things to do. Okay, well, I don't know what, but hopefully it's not chewable. It's definitely not. I'm sorry you didn't get on the basketball team, Molly. That's what I was trying to tell you. No girls allowed. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I didn't really want to be on the basketball team anyway. Okay, well, um, have fun doing whatever you're doing that's a secret. Yep. I wonder what she's doing. She can't be just doing nothing. It's Molly, so she's always getting herself into trouble. All right, time to change into my boy outfit. <laughs> I've got everyone fooled. And this Friday is the big game. Okay, I've got to put on something that will be good to work out in. Perfect. And now where's my wig? Dun -da -da -da. Meet Fred. <laughs> Molly, are you in here? <laughs> oh, no. It's Daisy. Molly, I'm coming in. Uh, d no, don't, don't come in. What are you doing in the girls' bathroom? Um, uh, uh... Wait a minute, you look familiar. And I thought my sister was in here. Get out, I'm going potty! Okay, fine, but I don't know why you're in the girls' bathroom. You're gonna get in trouble for that. Wait a minute, are you the same one that was in the girls' bathroom yesterday? Who, me? Uh, no, not, no. Okay, you just look familiar. Get out before I poop in my pants! Fine! Molly, which stall are you in? Oh, no. Daisy, I'm going potty. Don't come in. Okay, Molly, but then are you going to tell me what your secret is? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I'm just going to crawl under the stall so my sister doesn't know it was me. Oh, I'm too fat. Okay, there we go. Uh, 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 I'm so fat. Why can't I fit under here? Molly, are you okay in there? Do you have to really go poo-poo? Yes, I do. Uh-oh. Uh oh, this isn't good. Oh my gosh. What is going on right now? I'm stuck in the wall. This is not good. What am I going to do now? Molly, I'm going to come in because I'm worried about you. Daisy, don't you dare. Daisy! Molly, what are you doing right now? Why are you crying around in the gross bathroom floor? Um, uh, I, I lost an earring. Yeah, that's it. Oh, boy. Let me help you find it. Nope, got it. I'm good. Molly, what are you doing after school? I'm going to go into the library, and I'm going to do some studying. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm going to do some studying. Uh, don't believe you, Molly. No, I really am. <laughs> I swear it. I'm turning over a new leaf. That's why I don't have detention. That's why I'm just, I'm trying to be a better person, okay? Okay, Molly, if you say so. Now get out of the bathroom! That's very rude to interrupt somebody's personal time. Oh, good, she's gone. All right, now I can go in, turn back into Fred, and hopefully not be late for for my um practice. Perfect. <clears throat> I mean, perfect. La 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 la. Got you. Got me. Who who are you talking about? Wait a minute. You were the one that came out of the girls' bathroom yesterday. What are you wet in the girls' bathroom for, anyway? Uh, the boys' bathroom is always stinky, so I like going into the girls' bathroom. You look awfully familiar. Where's my sister? How am I supposed to know? Uh, because you were in the bathroom, too? Um, okay, I'll go look for her. You better not be kidnapping her! Oh my gosh, my sister is so annoying. Okay, fine. I'll turn back into Molly just so I can get rid of her. There you are, Molly. Did you run into that guy who's been hanging out in the girls' bathroom? Huh? What? No, I don't even know what you're talking about. I think you might be imagining things. Molly, I have to tell you something. I think you're acting very peculiar. Did you get a bonk on your head? Daisy, I'm very busy. I'll talk to you later. Oh, my sister's so annoying. I'm going to be late for practice. Molly, we're not done talking. Okay, coach, I'm here. Who are you? Wait a minute. You're the girl that tried out the other day. Oh, oh man. I forgot to change back into my regular Fred clothes. Wait, what? Huh? No, nothing. Did you just say that you were dressed up as Fred? N me? No. I don't know what you're talking about. I knew it. I knew that he wasn't a boy. That 
The boy was a girl or whatever. Molly, what are you doing here? No girls are allowed. Seems that your sister's been dressing up as a boy called Fred. I'm very sorry, but you can't be on the team. What? That's just bogus. Like, I'm a great player, and I should be allowed on the team. I'm telling the principal. You should, Molly. You should get the rule changed. Well, I mean, I'm sort of in charge of the rules, so I guess I could change that rule. You should. You even said that I'm a great player, so it should be a co-ed team. Yeah! What my sister said. Now, so you were the person that was the boy in the girls' bathroom? Yeah. I was changing into my Fred costume. I have to say that I tricked everybody. <laughs> Until today. Okay, Fred, or Molly, or whatever your name is, you can be on the team. Hooray! Now watch me make all of these baskets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like the fact that she's a girl and she's better at me than basketball. Read it and weep, buddy. Read it and weep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Molly, I'd like you to do problem number three from your workbook up here on the board in front of the class. Um, uh, uh. Come on, Molly, quit stalling. It's your turn at the board. If Michael has six eggs and Luke takes one egg and drops it and Sarah takes three eggs and cooks breakfast and Mitchell has an egg for his dog, how many eggs does is there left um uh, uh molly this is a review question you should know this already it's the end of the school year did you study at all um well um no molly okay that's it you have detention oh man i need to find a new book to read Ooh, what's this a joke book? <laughs> Sounds exactly like the book I'd like to read. What do you get when you cross a snail with a porcupine? A slowpoke! <laughs> Excuse me, did you not read the sign? This is the library. Shh! <laughs> this is a funny joke, a slowpoke! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read another. Um. What do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? An irrelevant. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, this is the library. Why are you so loud? Um, well, why did you put a joke book in the library? Because if, if you don't want me to be laughing and loud, you shouldn't have put a joke book in here. That's it. I'm writing you up. Oh, boy, not again. Oh, hi, Matilda. Ooh. Pizza looks delicious today. Only one slice per student. Okay, lunch lady, okay. Hey, what's that over there? What's what? <laughs> Two slices for me, oh yeah. Mommy, she said only one. Who took the extra slice of pizza? Was that you? Molly, I'm writing you up. Oh man. Mom, I'm home from school. Oh, just who I wanted to see. Why, did you make me cupcakes? Oh, you missed me so much, didn't you, Mom? Molly, I have so many slips from so many people here. You were naughty in the library. You you didn't do your math work. Y you were naughty in the lunchroom. Like, Molly, uh, I have no choice but to take away your phone. My phone? You wouldn't dare. Molly, I am your mother and... I'm not your friend. I I, I, I want to be your friend. But when you're naughty like this, I, I have to be your mother. So I'm sticking by my word. You're grounded from your phone for two weeks. What? Two weeks. Um, okay, Mom. I understand. Wait, what? What? You do? Yeah, I gotta go poo-poo. See you later. Okay. I'm glad we had this talk. Try not to get in trouble. Yeah, right. Trouble's my middle name. It's boring to be in the bathroom without your phone. That's okay. Mom will never know I'm playing on it. <laughs> 
Mom will never know if I'm playing Roblox in the bathroom. She'll just think I have a stomach ache. <laughs> Molly? <gasps> Molly! I thought, ew, it smells funny in here. I know, I have to go to the bathroom. Well, but you're on your phone. I said you were grounded. Oh, man, you outsmarted me, Mom. Well, I am pretty smart, you know. And, and give me your phone right now. Oh, Mom. I'm going to lock your phone so you can't play Roblox for two weeks. Only emergency calls. That's what I'm locking it for. Oh, Mom, this is terrible. Why do you have to be so smart? Would you rather I was a dumb mom? Um, yes. That's precisely what I wish you would be. Molly, what is that? It's a spell book? Where did you get that? The library. Apparently joke books aren't allowed, so I looked up this spell book on the computer and it said they had it in stock in the library, so I rented it. <laughs> now watch this. Alakazam! Alakazee! When I say dumb, that's what you'll be! What? What's happening? I feel... I feel... Exactly the same, Molly. That's a ridiculous spell book. Okay, if you say so, Mom. Molly, uh, you ate all the treats in the refrigerator and left a huge mess in the sink. Why don't you do these dishes? I would, Mom, but um, I'm too dumb. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> I don't even remember. Whoa, Mom, are you okay? I think so. <laughs> I just, uh, what was I talking about? I can't remember. Uh, I think you said you were going to do the dishes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how do I turn on the water faucet? <laughs> uh, you, ju you just click right here like that. Oh, <laughs> good thing my daughter's so smart. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, Mom. As soon as she's done with these dishes, I'll say the word smart so she goes back to being normal. <laughs> she's a little crazy like this. Smart! Whoa, that was weird. I could have swore I asked Molly to do the dishes. <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. Mom won't mind if I get on Roblox on the computer. She just said I was grounded on my phone. <laughs> Loophole! Molly, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be playing Roblox. You're supposed to be doing your math homework. Um, well, I can't because it's too hard. And I'm too dumb. <laughs> what are you talking about, Molly? That math homework's probably super easy. <laughs> oh, yeah? You want to give it a try? What's one plus one? <laughs> Whoa, one plus one what? Okay, one apple plus one apple equals how many apples? <laughs> Five! Oh my gosh! Did I get it right? <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Not even close. Well, <laughs> if you don't understand your math, and neither do I, I guess you can't do it then. That's right, Mom. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch some TV. Uh, but don't worry, Mom. You're really smart. Hmm, that's strange. Why am I standing in front of the computer? I'm not feeling very good today. Hi, everybody. I'm home. Oh, no. Here comes my annoying sister. She ruins everything. Molly, what exactly are you talking about? I'm the world's best sister. <laughs> yeah, right. Go away. I'm a little busy. Um, Molly, why don't you help me set the table for dinner? I would, Mom, but I'm feeling a little dumb. What? What did you say? Dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> what was I just doing? <laughs> oh, I think I was making dinner, but I don't know how. How do, you, how do you boil water? I'm not really sure. What is going on with Mom? Molly, did you cast a spell on Mom? Yeah, so what if I did? She decided to ground me for my phone. Probably because you deserved it. You got written up five million times today. <gasps> Molly, this is evil. Go away. I don't need you to tell me what's good and bad. Oh, boy. I know how to solve this. Mom, you put the water on the stove and turn on the stove. And then you have to set the table. 
Oh, <laughs> you're right. I almost forgot. <laughs> you're smart, Mom. You'll figure it out. Whoa, what, what's going on with me? Marley, I'm going to give you one more chance to not do this anymore and reverse the spell. Nah. Um, wait. Uh, even if I wanted to, I, I don't know where the book is. That's because I have it. Daisy, give me back my spell book right now. I don't think so. Mom's rubble and your glue. Whatever you've cursed her with bounces off her and sticks to you. How's that for a spell? Dum, 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 dum. Whoa, I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> oh, wait, where did everybody go? Wow, is anybody home? <laughs> Molly, are you feeling okay? <laughs> Molly, can you speak English or human even? I don't know. <laughs> I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh, Molly, you're drooling on yourself. Oh my goodness, we better take you to the hospital. I think you might have a concussion. <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely messed up. No, no, I don't want to leave Unicorn Land. I don't want to take the math test. <laughs> Molly, Molly, wake up, wake up. Huh, what? No, no, it's not time to wake up yet. Molly, we're gonna be late for school! Get out of bed! Huh? What? What's, what's going on? I was just in Unicorn Land. No, you were in Dreamland and dreaming about unicorns. Well, I'd like to go back there. I'm super tired. Molly, wake up! Wake up! Whoa, what's going on? A tornado! Molly, no, the lights are going on and off because I'm trying to wake you up. Now get up before I get a bucket of water and dump it on your head. You wouldn't dare! I would dare now. Get out of bed! You're gonna make us late! Huh, <sighs> you're so bossy. Has anyone ever told you that? Um, yeah, you. You tell me that all the time. <laughs> She's always so worried we're gonna be late for school. La 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 Molly, hurry up! Chop chop! Oh, she's so bossy. Do you guys have a bossy sister or brother? Slam the like button if you do! Ugh, I need to slam the like button extra for Daisy. Rude, Molly, I heard that. Why are you listening into everything I say, Daisy? Because, Molly, you're so loud. You have the biggest mouth in the entire world. Daisy, if my mouth wasn't full of toothpaste, I'd run after you right now. But having healthy teeth is very important, so I have to keep brushing. There, now I'm finally ready for school. Took you long enough. Yeah, we're totally going to get detention, Molly. We're not going to get detention. Don't freak out. I have to remember how to get through my house, though, because we just moved in not that long ago, and I can't even remember. Take in the elevator. <laughs> this is the funniest show ever. <laughs> Dad, don't you have to work today? Yeah, but I don't have to be at my meeting until 10, so I'm just chilling. Dad, you have the best job ever. Yeah, you'd think so, but it can be stressful at times. That's why I like watching this cat show. <laughs> okay, let's go, Molly. Well, all right, we're going, we're going. Molly, you have to drive today. Wait, what? Yeah, my car's in the shop. Um, my car is, um, uh, well, I left it at Brookie's. I, I walked home because I ran out of gas. Oh, my goodness, Molly. I didn't think that was possible that you would run out of gas. <laughs> You're pretty gassy to me. <laughs> Daisy! All right, come on, I'll drive. We'll take Dad's monster truck. Oh, Molly, are you sure you know how to drive this thing? Um, yes and no, maybe? I don't know. Oh, boy, we're all gonna die! Oh, Molly, try to stay on the road. What are you doing? Molly, slow down! Daisy, I'm seriously only going one mile over the speed limit. And you have trouble staying on the road at that speed seriously molly you have to be the world's worst driver ever how's that is that better 
Yes, we're just still going way too fast. Marley, where are those lights going off behind us? Uh-oh, it looks like the police. Oh, no, Marley. Great, now we're going to get a ticket. Please pull over. Please pull over. Oh, my gosh. Where should I pull over at, Daisy? Over there, Marley. Just don't go too far. Oh, sure. You're going through the drive through donuts. Well, if today's got a stink, at least we'll be at the donut shop. Okay, please keep your hands on the wheel and don't exit your vehicle. I repeat, do not exit your vehicle. I will be out of the police car shortly. Oh, man. What a terrible day. Mom and Dad are never going to forgive me if I, get a, if I get a ticket. What? Is that Dan's car? Well, okay. Maybe they just have the same car. License and registration, please. M Mom? Molly? What? What? Oh my gosh, Molly, you were speeding? Only like one mile over the speed limit. I I I'm late for school. Molly, that's no excuse. Uh, I had nothing to do with this. I was just riding along. Yeah, she was my accomplice. Get back here, Daisy. Please get back in the car immediately. Mom, seriously, I'm your daughter. Uh, right now, I'm a police officer and you're somebody that I'm pulling over. Get back in the vehicle immediately, please. Um, okay. Uh, just so you know, Molly, I don't like Mom's new job as a cop. She's rude. I think she might just be doing her job. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're just doing your job. That's right. You can call me Officer Laura. Mom, I'm not going to call you Officer Laura. You're my mom. Uh, you will call me Officer Laura. No, I won't. You're my mom. That's weird. Okay, I'm going to need you to step out of the car, please. What? Why? Because you're not following my orders. Uh, do you want to buy me a donut, Mom? I mean, Officer Laura! Nope, I'm very sorry, but um, I'm going to have to arrest you. Wait, what? Yep, you didn't follow my orders and you were speeding. It's the law. I'm very sorry, Miss Molly. Mom! I mean, Officer Laura! You're going to be arrested. It's all there is to it. Can I go home? Nope, you're her accomplice. You're arrested, too. Oh my gosh, this is horrible! Anything you say can be used against you. You may want to hire an attorney. Mom! I would stop calling her mom. We've got ourselves in Kuwait the Pickle, Molly. And it's all your fault! Ooh, this place now has also waffles? Mmm. When I get out of the slammer, I'm definitely coming to eat here. Molly, all you think about is your stomach! Maybe we should be quiet until we get a lawyer. Molly, I can't believe it! You you sent me to jail! I'm gonna be in this slammer now forever! Daisy, she's our mom. Eventually she's gonna come to our senses, right? I don't know. Mom takes her jobs pretty seriously. That's enough. That's enough chatter in there. Okay, so the prisoners aren't allowed to talk? <laughs> what kind of prison is this? The kind where Officer Laura's in charge. Okay, well, legally I'm allowed to make one call. Okay, here's the cell phone. You can make one call. Molly, who are you going to call? The only person that can get us out of this mess. Hello? <laughs> Who's there? I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I'm watching this cat show. Dad! Emergency! Emergency! Molly, what's wrong? What's going on? Um, I, um, I need you to, um, bail me out of jail. What? <laughs> nice prank, Molly. No, seriously. I, I've, I've been arrested. And I've been arrested as an accomplice! Okay, uh, listen, Dad. I was doing one mile over the speed limit. You were speeding? Molly! Yeah, and I was in your car. Oops. Molly! Yeah, so here's the thing, Dad. Um, Mom arrested us. What? I'll be right down. What do you say, Molly? He just said, what? I'll be right down. In the meantime, I think we should get some uh, shot eye. Molly, we just got out of bed. Yeah, but this is really stressing me out. Good thing I packed something delicious in my backpack. Where is it now? Where is it? There it is. Are you seriously going to eat a donut at times like this? This is the perfect time to eat a donut. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Ew, Molly, what's wrong with you? Uh, sorry, Daisy, but, uh... Molly, I'm right here in the same cell. Let me out. It's so stinky. Ew. <laughs> it's kind of gross that in the prison they put the toilet in the same room as your bed. Gross. Oh, brother. Well, here they are, Molly and Daisy. Laura, how could you arrest them? They're our own children. Well, 
You do the crime, you do the time. Laura, seriously? Yeah, I'm totally serious. They were doing one mile over the speed limit. Oh, come on, Laura. Usually you don't get even a ticket until you're like at least 10 miles over the speed limit. Well, I'm setting a new precedence in this in this precinct, and that is, if you do the crime... Yeah, yeah, we know. Do the time. How much money do you want to get us out of here? Um, I think the fine is $500. Holy guacamole! You girls would be doing dishes for the rest of your life to work off that one. Okay, here you go. Oh, that's $500 per daughter. Oh my gosh! Laura, you're trying to rob me! Hey, I didn't make the rules. I just work here. O-M-G. Okay, we're free. Let us out. Let us out. Ah, the taste of freedom. Now, how about going to that diner and getting another donut? Oh, brother.